What is going on peace with your boy Ellis? Today we're gonna get something sorted on the car that I should have got done literally over a year and a half ago. The annoying thing about it now is that because I'm selling the car, I, I kind of have to get it done. Four months after having the car, that happened and I just haven't been around to do it. Because it's not nothing mechanical and it's just cosmetic, I just thought, I just thought it doesn't affect the car driving so forget it, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just, wait, I'm just gonna like be out of pocket but now I'm gonna have to do it and I'm gonna like oh wow it looks so good like I've not seen the car like this in like one and a half years and I'm gonna really regret ah oh, this is so annoying ah so the issue that I was talking about is to finally get that out that's getting removed today as why it's in a paint room so yeah I'm um, gonna be leaving it in there for a bit I won't I just won't so she's a follower Lucy's like, a follower yeah we because to be honest she I'm, didn't want to do it that I, way anyways this is what happens when I don't have a car I gotta sit at home and watch this dumb crap like, well, like I wanna go gym I've got like another two hours to wait until I've got my car back, like, what time do I drop it off? I dropped it around 10 o'clock. And you drive my car, but he doesn't want to drive a banger. You know what her car is already. You need some modifications to your car key, what do you think? Let's show you your car quickly. Put some coilovers and not bad boys and some rims. Get the windows tinted. Get the headlights tinted. And make it look like a chavy car. Should we tune your car? You want to tune it? You put a turbo in there? No? Okay. <laughs> um, there is a car over here that's a very very high potential of being my next car I saw it when I was walking past and I was just like I've I've, I've considered it before and it's still in consideration but I'm just I just wasn't sure if I like that type of car so I'll show you right now and explain what I mean that type of car so this is the car I was just talking about it was over there now they've just moved it over here I'm gonna go inside quickly and speak to the person I just saw her outside so it said it's open let's have a look inside Okay. Um, so this is the interior of this beast. Is it a beast? I don't even know. This is so sick. The fact that these cars have still got like electric seats and whatnot. Um, I'm going to put the seat back so I can step inside a second. So it does. It definitely needs a tidying up. Definitely, definitely needs a tidying up. It's got an M, a mini M badge, so obviously means performance of some sorts. It's got the iDrive, is it the iDrive for the BMW? Yeah, it's got the iDrive and obviously the the never aging BMW center console, automatic. I still need to drive one to see what this is like, but oh damn, paddles, obviously it's automatic. It's really interesting, I really want to drive it actually. Because you never know, I might drive it and absolutely fall in love with it. Like this isn't so bad for a diesel after all. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think a diesel is the right choice or not look at this for like a for like another alternative a bloody v10 s6 it's not that bad six thousand obviously this is going to be like five miles to the gallon which is not ideal right now I do want something economical which is why i was still considering this toy right here but anyways now i'm on the way to go collect my car and i'm just i'm a bit nervous because as i said it's been ages the car has been like I bought the car September not this September I'm talking about the year I bought it September and in January I got the scratch and that was like as I said two and a half years ago not two and a half that's like a year and a half ago and I still haven't I just haven't seen it brand new since then so I generally just want to see it right now see what it looks like and hopefully the worst flipping thing that can possibly happen imagine like the paint is the wrong paint it's got like a two-tone paint i'll be so sad I don't, I don't know man i haven't i haven't seen it like this video. oh i'm sitting outside it's actually sitting outside <sighs> please be okay just please be perfect wow <laughs> it's back to new oh my god it's back to new it is back to new oh my god i'll show you guys a walk around in a minute i don't think i want to sell it no more damn it's back to normal Obviously that side was fine and this is the side that was like affected and you can see it's all gone Like you can see from earlier what it was like, it's all gone now I can't believe I haven't done this earlier Look at that from the side 
I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely pissed at myself that I haven't done that from the start. Because I would have had this lovely thing to look at. And now the new owner is going to have this lovely thing to look at. Oh man, damn. That is so pretty. Oh, I'm so wounded. I'm happy that it's done, but I'm just wounded that I'm doing it just before I, like literally, probably not even a month before I sell the car. So annoying. Nah man, I am I am truly so happy that this is finally done. So gassed, I'm so happy. I can finally take some pictures of this bad boy and I'm, I'm not be worried about what side is on show or what side isn't on show. Oh, finally. <laughs> Again. So yeah, I made it on Worldstar. I'm basically a celebrity now, so watch how you chat to me. <laughs> I'm joking. If you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. Um, so this was a short video of me obviously getting the car painted and then that 335D, that's a huge consideration for my next car, but I want your guys' opinion. What do you think of a diesel? 335D, yes, it's a performance diesel. Um, 335i, is it's affordable, but it's just... It's just the running costs, like, and the, yeah, the running cost is just ridiculous for those cars. But it has got potential. I mean, literally, I saw a tuned one the other day in my budget. That's 600 brake horsepower in my budget. But I don't, do I really want to buy a 600 bhp car right now? <laughs> It'd be bloody insane for the channel. But nah, I don't think I'm not ready for that right now. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the 335D. Should I consider it? Should it be on my on my short list? Um, um, yeah and also leave a few more suggestions below as always thank you guys for your continued support um i am looking forward to get this new car like soon like i'm, I'm actually excited for just something different i think i want to extend my, my owner's list kind of thing like i've only owned two cars in my in like six years like it's kind of dead i want to experience more cars but i think i'm just i'm just i get attached really quick so i do want to try and experience some more cars but anyways thank you guys for watching if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button like the video massively appreciated and i'll see you guys in the next one